Hi folks, welcome back to another one of our short videos. Today I'm going to take you around this 90, which is just about to leave. We've carried out a whole host of modifications, but probably the coolest thing about this truck is actually the fact that someone's learning to drive in it. So that on its own is pretty damn cool. We've added the D44 front bumper. It's the new front bumper with the enlarged cutouts that suits the Triple R 750s a little better. And this option is with the recovery hooks. You can have them without the recovery hooks. And we've added the original bumperettes on a corner for protection. So that's a really smart upgrade. Gives a really good full beam light power. Plus of course that all important safety of the DRL in the bottom. We've kept the original matte black KBX front end on here. And we've added up top a triple R24 spotlight. So that's an incredibly powerful light bar, particularly well suited to hanging off the bottom of the um, uh, roof rack, as you can see. Cable entry, of course, is really neat and tidy. It runs around here. We've got a connector here in case it ever needs to be serviced or released. And it goes, it enters the vehicle body just behind here, where it's all thoroughly sealed up. Um, we've gone with the original side steps. We replaced all of the checker plates. So customer was gonna have the checker plate refurbed. It's not really cost effective. It, we just replace it. So replace the top wing tops there, the sill, and of course the rear quarters. So that tidies all of that up. Inside, it had an existing doubled in unit. So in this case, it was an Alpine. Uh, we've reused this, good bit of kit. Um, we didn't do the conversion, so it's got the whole, the, the larger sole end plate on there, but that's fine. The Alpine hedge, hedge unit is functional and works well. We've added an Alcantara headlining which is really swish with black leather visors. We've added the Corbu sport seats there with the diamond stitch, high rise cubby. We've replaced the front carpets. We've added the stainless steel finishes. Cleaned up all the mats. This has all been through the valeting bay, so we've cleaned up all the original carpets. We've gone for Ultimate Hi-Fi, so that of course is the Focal tweeter on the top of the dash, the ES100K mid, and the six and a half inch woofer to create lots and lots of lovely mid bass. That's driven from a seven, from a 705 amplifier, so it's a JL Audio five channel amplifier. And we add the subwoofer to the rear of the center console. Let's have a little look around the back, see what we've done in there. This vehicle's had a thorough valet. Looks really cool now. I've added the reverse camera because it wasn't there before. And in the back, we've done the custom rubber liner, which is super nice, a little bit squidgy. It covers the soundproofing. And of course, we've added the, whoops, stainless steel finishes that just kind of tidy everything up and finish it off. We've refurbed the original mat that's had a thorough steam clean and uh, refurbed and it's gone back in to protect the liner. There's some of the boxes of some of the equipment which we've replaced. And there's the Jail Audio subwoofer just sitting tidily on the back of the console there. Have a little look at the Alcantara headlining because it's rather nice. There you go, it's been fully soundproof, so that consists of obviously a dynamatic stream through the roof, then a six mil of insulating foam, um, six mil of insulating foam on the floor, plus the heavier skins. Soundproofed all of the panels, three layers in the doors, three layers over the gearbox tunnel. Seats look rather funky there, they're nice wing backs on there. A nice job. It's nice that we've now got the on site valeting, so everything goes out looking as we'd want it to. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed. Little look round today's Defender. Plenty more to come.